Hello world, today we're doing a cabin air filter on a 2008 Mazda 3. Now this is going to apply for 2003 to 2008 if I am correct. And no, it's not in the glove box or behind it. It's underneath over by the center console area, unfortunately. So we're going to remove that cover over by the fuse box and we'll remove this side cover. Luckily we don't need to remove this metal bracket on the left, which is nice. And these you just turn to the left, turn to the left, and then that comes down. But we are going to have to remove all these connected parts. So let me adjust this so I can show you a bit better. See those tabs on the side, you're going to have to wiggle it out because they lock in place a little bit in there. So you want to get that fo as forward, as <laughs> you want to get that forward as much as possible. Now you can remove the screw, but I'd probably wait until you take this fuse box all the way off. I tried to cheat it and tr tried to get it off without removing the fuse box, but it didn't pan out very well. If I remember correctly, there are four little screws holding the plate that you see that I'm touching right now. That one right there. So I thought there was three, but it turns out there's four. There goes the motorcycle. Anyways, what we're really going to need is a flathead screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, and I believe a 12 millimeter socket or wrench. And like I said, do not do this without removing this fuse box first. All right, now that we gave up on that part, let's remove the fuse box. All you want to do is press the little tabs and it will come off if you're touching it in the right places. There are two down here on the left side and one on the right side. I will show you what they look like. I ended up marking them only because I thought I wouldn't remember. See those two right here? I thought I wouldn't remember so I wrote them down. You can do this but if you have better memory than I do then you don't have to. All I think I wrote was two, two letters but anyways. All right, so now that you have this out of the way, that bracket over here is gonna get in the way as well. Now you might be able to do it without removing this bracket. I just did it for easier accessibility. Then again, I remove a lot of things for easier accessibility, but you don't always have to remove it. All right, that is out of the way. Almost. All right, so I'm tucking that over. Now I'm attacking that last screw in the back. And here's where it gets a little bit interesting. So I'm taking out the old ones, which are pretty filthy. See, there's that one. There's this one. It's a two piece, one goes on top of the other. So when you finally have it in, this is a, I'm showing you very quickly. Once you have it in, they're going to look like this and this is how it looks inside. And there was some debris in there. I tried to clear it out as much as possible. 
Now I'm going to try to show you how you put it in because it's harder than it looks. So this is how they're going to end up. You're going to put the top one in first and then kind of try to get hold it up and then you're going to slide the bottom one on there. So see, I think I went ahead of myself here. Here is the top one going in first. Then I try to move it up. Then the bottom one, it's, this is a little bit of a struggle, but it'll get there. So if you hold the other one and manage to sh get this guy in there, it'll just slide in there. We got notification. All right, so now we put that cover back on. Put all the little screws back in there. Since they're running away, I gotta find them. Where are you guys? All right, so we're putting all those guys back in. We're gonna put everything back together. Yeah, that's pretty much it. It's it's a little straightforward, although getting it in there and seating it properly is the most tedious because you just don't slide it in and boom, you're done. You have to put in the top one and then slide in the bottom one. And yeah, it gets a little annoying. But hey, if you need it done, you need it done. And if you don't want to do this, you can pay somebody to do it. That's the beauty of this. Yeah, so this should take, what, 25 minutes maybe? Like I said, all you really need is that Phillips screw that I have shown you here. Actually, didn't even show you flathead but anyway put that bracket on put those nuts back on tighten that back on there and then we're gonna assemble it yeah that's all the information I have if you found this video to be helpful in any way or form please make sure to hit that like button as it helps me I mean it's the least you could do you're not giving me money you know but if you want to give me money too that's fine But no, just kidding. A like will suffice. It's funny. Like, like, like. Alright, I'll leave you guys to it. This goes back on there. I would start with the bottom. Do not try to start from the top and then go to the bottom. Do the bottom first and then the top. Everything else is pretty visually explanatory. But yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys.